all right, time for another movie. This one might be a kid's movie. I don't know, it's Disney. But it's supposed to be scary, Disney. What? Does that even happen? And uh, the movie it is called um, The Haunted Mansion. So, I saw the trailer for it. Looks like it's going to be pretty cartoony, but you never know how scary these things can be. So, when I get back out to the car, I'll tell you what I thought about it. Yeah. I go to the movies. Who would have thought? So, here's my opinions. My opinions don't matter. Your opinions don't matter. What? We just put our opinions on the internet. It's what we do as a culture. No one knows why we do it, but we can't seem to stop. So, for what it's worth, I'm the Joshua Lukoku. And these are mine. Okay, Disney's The Haunted Mansion 2023. <laughs> I say that because there's been one million versions of this movie. It's like, how many times are you going to do this? <laughs> I know that there's like a Muppets version, and there's a version with like Eddie Murphy, and then there's it's probably like a Scooby-Doo version, you know? <laughs> it's like, not to mention that whatever this is originally based on, um, it's probably like some some black and white scary movie from the 40s or something. <laughs> Man. It's like they have to make a Haunted Mansion movie every, you know, 8 to 10 years. <laughs> if not more. But, so... There's that. But, uh, so, the movie, you know, it's fine. You know? It's like... It's highly... It's highly... Cartoonish horror sort of thing. The closest thing I could try to think about... Was maybe, like... It's supposed to be, like, Ghostbusters, where it's, like, comedy. It's supposed to be kind of lightly scary. But, uh, you know... They do go kind of gross with some of the effects, you know. Not bloody, but, well, like with uh, Ghostbusters, you know. It's uh, scary, you know, skeletons. They're decaying bodies. They still got hair, so that means there's still a little bit of skin on these bones. Sort of things like that. And they do, you know, just like the scares. That sort of thing. But... Other than that, I mean, I'd say that this movie, it's, well, it's rated PG-13, right? So it's like, it might scare the little kids, but it's pretty, it's pretty tame. You know, it's, it's a, it's a pretty tame movie. But, uh, you know, dead people are scary. So, <laughs> I think corpses are more scary. That's the thing, because it's like, just a skeleton. That ain't that scary, you know? But it's like, it's when there's a corpse, you know, and its eyeballs are still there, still sunken into their head, that sort of thing. That might that might mess with some kids, that sort of thing. So, there's that. But the movie's pretty tame. And it's like, there is a... One of the main characters is a little boy, and he's supposed to be there for kids who are watching the movie to relate to. And I don't think that kid was 13. He might have been. Kind of seemed more like it was 10 or something. But, so there's that going on. But, uh, other than him, and he did a good job as an actor. The little boy, he did a good job. The real, um, draw of this movie is the cast. Because the cast really is amazing. It's like an amazing cast. And they all do a really great job. So, it has... The Rosario Dawson, and it has the Owen Wilson, and it has the Danny DeVitos, and it has, uh, you know, Jamie Lee Curtis, you know, she shows up. So it's like, you, you got the, you got all the talent you need there. And the, the other guy that's the main character, I'm not sure that actor's name. Sorry. Sorry, internet. But, uh, he did a really good job, too. And, uh, you know, so, there were some other people that showed up there that were famous. But, it was, like, more of, like, more cameo spots. 
sort of thing. But yeah, so. <clears throat> so the cast, I mean, the cast to get, the movie was funnier than, than I was expecting. I mean, I expected it to be, they, they were going to do some jokes, but I actually thought that they landed a lot better than I was assuming. It also helps that the theater wasn't, uh, empty. That's normally, and this is opening night, you know, <clears throat> second showing opening night on the Thursday. Because a lot of people think that the movies come out on Friday. They don't. They always come out on Thursday. <laughs> so this was the Thursday opening night, second showing of the movie. And it was, the theater was like half half full. So maybe the Bourbonheimers got people deciding they're going to go to the movies again. <laughs> so, I mean, that's good. But yeah, so I mean, the movie was fine. I didn't really... I, it was entertaining enough, but it was kind of low key for for a horror movie, and it this isn't gonna give me like any sort of nostalgia feels like you know Ghostbusters or anything like that, which is what I kind of compare it to. So, but yeah. So there's another Disney's Haunted Mansion out. You can go see it if you want. <laughs> so those are my first thoughts and opinions after seeing Disney's The Haunted Mansion. 2023. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I'm throwing those thoughts and opinions up on the Thoughts and Opinions Pal. They'll soon be buried by everybody else's. You can tell me your thoughts and opinions, though. Put them in the comment section, you know. Like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, all that sort of thing. And don't forget to feed your cat. Sometimes you go to the movies a lot, you gotta remember to come back home and feed that cat. That's what you gotta do. And, uh, yeah, if someone warns you not to enter a house, don't do it. Nothing good will come from it.